any time a house gets in this condition, making it go away makes the city better. Dozens of houses in Decatur have been deemed dangerous, and tonight the city approved a plan to get rid of them. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jessica Coons. At tonight's council meeting, board members gave the green light to start the demolition plan. Now, we've told you before, Decatur city leaders have been trying to get rid of old vacant houses, but it could be a long process before the ones approved tonight can be torn down. WCIA 3's Jennifer Jensen here with us now. So, Jennifer, how many houses are we talking about here? There's a list of 46 properties that inspectors say are dangerous or abandoned in the city and several neighbors want to see them go away and the city wants that too but it'll take more than just a yes vote to make that happen mark wood remembers the days his neighbor's house was in its prime miss averta lived here um she kept it really nice but after she died, the house went to ruin. The case is similar with many other abandoned houses in Decatur. You'll see broken, boarded up windows, collapsed roofs, and people who live next door notice much more. Horrible, nasty, ugly. You know, I mean, it just makes the whole neighborhood, the whole block look bad. They caught a fire and they just look crappy. It, it brings the neighborhood down. It really does. The city has taken notice too. They're structurally unsound. The roofs are failing. The foundation is failing. There's been vandals in them and they've removed all the electrical or plumbing or heating. At Monday night's council meeting, Susan Kretzinger with Neighborhood Inspections recommended demolishing 46 of these properties. So we want to either have the homeowners, the owner of the property, take care of it and have them demolished or we want to take action. It'll take a lot more than a plan to tear them down. On average, it costs about $14,000 to demolish a property. Right now, Kretzinger says the city doesn't have the budget to cover that. Plus, each property has to be approved by the court to be demolished, which could take up to six months. Right now, most people want the same thing. No one wants them. It just might take a while to make it happen. Neighborhood inspections told me they plan to apply for grants to pay for some of the demolitions, but because of the court process, there's no set date for when any of these 46 houses will be torn down. Back to you. All right, Jennifer, thank you so much. Like we said, Decatur has been in the process of getting rid of houses like these. Since December, they've torn down 19 homes. If you count the 46 properties approved tonight, that brings the total to 155 houses approved to come down.